Well, everybody loves a comeback story with a happy ending, right? Especially when it comes to our furry friends. In this morning's Evely Zone, Jeff is in Rolando to meet a homeless cat named Benny. Once you meet Benny, you'll understand why he can no longer live in the wild and needs a loving home. A caregiver in El Cajon brought him in. A few months ago, a concerned East County resident trapped this cat living in the wild. She had been feeding him for a few years. He'd never let anyone touch him. Audrey Stratton from the Feral Cat Coalition helps 4,000 community cats a year, free of charge. But most of them don't look like they've been in a boxing match. Very likely, yep, life of a tomcat on the street. <laughs> well, he was having a really difficult time. Recovering. After naming the cat Benny, a vet determined his eye needed to be removed, along with Benny several teeth. Could. He's a tough guy. Oh yeah, he's been through a lot. The surgery went well until there were complications. We couldn't really figure out what was going on. Benny couldn't stop bleeding, even after a second surgery. I'm thinking that this whole process was getting pretty expensive very expensive a local rescue group called smittens shared benny's story on social media they ended up raising almost six thousand dollars benny cannot go back onto the street because of his bleeding condition that money paid for a specialty hospital blood transfusions and tests the blood work determined that he was actually a hemophiliac, which is extremely rare in cats. It's also rare to spend so much money on a scrappy street cat that some suggested should be put down. There were questions at some point whether we were doing the most humane thing for Benny because we weren't sure if he would ever clot. The vet did not ever believe he was suffering, but she didn't think he would ever come out of it. Audrey says when you see a cat willing to fight for himself. It was a lot to go through with him. You step into the ring and go the distance. Took about a week, but he really pulled through. Benny's all better and now he just needs a home. He loves to be pet. He just rubs and rubs and makes biscuits and purrs. Volunteer Kim Geyer says he must have had human contact at some point because Benny's more of a lover than a fighter. He loves affection. Although the community rallied for Benny, not one family stepped up and said, we want to take him home. Right, and we were totally surprised. It's hard to get adult cats adopted out when there's so many cute little fluffy kittens running around. Benny may only have one eye, but anyone can see he'll make a family very happy. He deserves it. In the Zevely Zone. He's been through a lot, that's for sure. Jeff Zevely, CBS 8.